Hey everybody, this is Mary and I'm here once again for another edition of G Suite Tips. Today we're going to talk about Google Drive files offline. I know that I already made a preview tutorial on this that you can find over here, but um, I still have a few questions that were asked um, of me afterwards. So I decided to redo this tutorial and do it purely in English. The last tutorial I made was done in both Tagalog and in English. And so I decided to just make this purely in English and I just might make another one purely in Tagalog later on or purely in Filipino later on. So today we're going to um, discuss how we're going to uh, make our docs, sheets, uh, slides, and our drawings offline as well as to ensure that we were actually able to make the files that are important to us available offline. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, before you turn on offline access, there are five things that you need to make sure of. So the first one is you need to make sure that you are connected to the internet. So you can't turn on offline access if you're not connected to the internet because you will need internet access to download those files and to make sure that those files are gonna be available on your computer once um, internet access is gone. The next one is you must use the Google Chrome browser, okay? So this um, offline access in Google Drive does not work on your Firefox. It does not work on Safari or in your Microsoft Edge. So you need to make sure that you are using Google Chrome browser for this. And the next one is don't use private browsing. So that means don't use incognito, all right? Don't be on incognito. You need to be signed in to your Chrome browser before you can turn on offline access. The fourth one is you have to install and turn on the Google Docs um, offline Chrome extension. And I'm going to be putting in a link to the Google Docs online, um, I'm sorry, the Google Docs offline Chrome extension in the description box so that you can just click on it and install it um, as part of your uh, list of extensions on your Google Chrome. The fifth one is you will need to make sure that you have available space on your machine, okay? So you need to have at least like around four gigabytes of space that is available for you to save all of your um, documents offline. Okay, for you to start making your Google Drive files available offline, you need to go to your Google Drive. So to go to Google Drive, just go to drive.google.com or you can click on the a three by three grid right here and then click on the google drive icon for you to get there so at the top portion of your google drive you can see that there's a gear icon there let me just zoom in and there's a gear icon there that you can click so when you click on that there are settings in here click on settings and it will open up a new window so in this new window you can see that there is a portion there for um ticking the box to make your doc sheets and slides available offline. So click on this box to um, enable uh, doc sheet slides and drawings to be available offline. It's not recommended for public or shared computers because it's going to download your files onto the computer. So you need to make sure that you are using a computer that is your own, all right? So just click on done, all right? And once it's done, then you'll, uh, you'll know that the files are gonna start to sync onto your computer. Like I said earlier, you need to make sure that you have enough available space for uh, your files to sync. Now, how about if you want to just make, or to make sure that some of the files that you have are gonna be available offline. All you have to do is to click on a file, like so, or even multiple files if you like, by hitting the shift and then going down, or command if you're using a Mac, and right click and when you right click you can see that let me just um, do that again right click and you can see that there is a, a button there that says available offline you just have to um, click on that so that you can make that file available offline now how do you know which files are going to be available offline and if it's already ready here on the upper right hand corner you can see here that there's a check button here so that means this is ready for offline. When you click on this button, there is an offline preview. And when you click on this one, then it will give you a preview of your Google Drive once you don't have any internet access. And you can see that some of your files are actually grayed out. That means that when you lose internet access, these files 
are also not going to be available to you. But the files that are currently uh, not grayed out are the files that are still going to be available to you even when you don't have internet access. So that's how easy it is. All right, that's how easy it is for you to make your Google Drive files available offline. So the next time you lose internet access, that's what you just have to do. Open your Google Drive and you can still start to work. Now, um, I'm going to see you again next time. And I hope if you like this video, just hit on the like um, button. And um, if you want to see more videos from gtech.guru in the future, just um, hit on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I have a new video. Uh, and if you um, would like to support me as well, you can buy me a coffee at co-fee.com slash gtechguru. All right, thank you so much again, and I appreciate you watching this video. See you again next time. Bye!